Hey guys, what's up? It's 2am and I'm bored, so I've decided to do a video uh, giving a rundown of my current everyday carry. I'm specifically focusing on what's what I'm wearing and what's in my pockets, not really touching on like backpack carry. Um, to begin with, uh, in no particular order, let's start with my wallet. Now my wallet, apart from regular credit cards and stuff, consists of this tool, which I have been using for only about two weeks now. Uh, I'm not really going to go over it too much here because I released an entire video on it like two days ago. Um, but what I'd rather talk about is this pair of tools that I used for, well, this one in particular, this is this is my, my faithful Swiss card that I carried for, what, six or seven years? I think I got this when I was 13, um, and that's been in my wallet, I think same wallet even, uh, pretty much that entire time, and it's been a really good tool. Um, I've, I've Now that I've started making my own things, I've kind of stopped carrying it, because I found that things like the, the nail file, yeah, again, carried it for seven years, never used either of these a single time, so um, you know I've moved on to other tools like this one here, that better suit my needs. Um, you know, with things like the, the tripod screw, that's really useful to have. Um, but for, for seven years, uh, particularly, actually, the scissors and the pen, these are by far what I've used the most on this, surprisingly enough. Um, but, you know, uh, you, you know things, you move on, and you, you change things around, so... Well, this was good. It, it still is good. I, you know, it's still a great tool. Um, I'm, I'm trying out some, some new things at the moment. Um, apart from that, um, someone told me these were lucky. I can't remember who. I can't remember when. But I've also had this black eight in my wallet for some years. Next up, let's do keychain. So attached to this very stylish Hot Wheels lanyard that I got in a show bag when I was seven are my keys and a future video. Um, so I've had this made for about three months actually and I've just never gotten around to fully shooting the video but this is a little ferro rod I've designed so that should be coming up soon. Um, in this container I've got some fire starter or tinder to go with the ferro rod um, and apart from that, that's my keys. Uh, I would like to get some sort of mini keychain pry bar. I think that would be a nice addition. But, um, overall, they're just keys. <laughs> it's just a keychain. Nothing more to say, really. Um, what is next? Let's do wearables. So, uh, what do I do first? Let's do small ones, the small ones first. So, usually, um, so, to begin with, my watch. This is a Garmin VivoFit 2. Um, it's just a really basic fitness tracker, and I carry it for no other reason than that it cost me $2. Um, that's, that's been a trend with me for watches for a while, actually, has been I will use them until the battery goes out, and then I will go to this this fantastic market, which has been off for months. It's tragic because of COVID, um, but I would go there and I would find a secondhand watch for a couple of dollars, and then I'd try that out for a few months, and then um, so on and so forth. Because getting a watch battery replaced is like twenty dollars, or I could just get a whole new watch for two, or well, a secondhand watch, you know. And so nice watches, um, just a couple of bucks. Another one. This one was also $2, it's a dive watch, it's got the face, which is a fantastic fidget, very annoying, but, you know, really good to fidget with when you're, you know, someone like myself who is prone to fidgeting and whatnot, but um, the real MVP is this one, so this was given to me when I was like seven or something, six or seven, really young, um, and, you know, back then, it's like, you, you got a watch for my birthday? Lame. Um, but between the ages of 
um, I don't know, probably 12 and 18. This was, this was my daily watch. I wore this day after day after day, replaced the battery a bunch of times. Um, and then, yeah, I just kind of stopped using it. I moved on to other things. It's pretty beat up, as you can see. The face is very weathered and worn. It still works, um, but I've also kind of outgrown it a bit. It's a very, it's a pretty small watch on me. But, um, yeah, definitely a very sentimental piece. Apart from that, um, this wristband, this little bracelet, I have worn this for probably three years, daily, never really changed it out, I don't have an alternative to it, I've just kind of worn it for, um, yeah, about, about three years, um, you know, you'd think, given, you know, that, that it would have some sentimental value, no, I, I found it at a bus stop, and then I put it on, and then it's just stayed on since it's... I don't know. I, I, I just like it. It's very simple. I like having something on my wrist. And this just kind of lives there. What's next? A hair tie. I have very long hair. Um, keeping on one of these on me is kind of essential. So that too goes on the same wrist as the watch and the wristband. And recently is this necklace. Um... It's part of a drill, I'll be honest. I was just looking through my parts bin, and I found this little piece. I was like, damn, that's kind of nice. So I put it on some string, and I've been wearing it for like a month now. That's all there is to it, really. Um, nothing particularly unique. Um, other wearable thing that I wear daily is a buff of some description. I have three. Um, this one was given to me by a friend about a year ago. This was the first one, and I've... I've been wearing buffs for about a year now, pretty much daily. Um, this one's a cheap eBay one, and then this one's a nice one that I bought just the other week, actually. Um, not much more to say. Again, with the long hair, it's it's nice to be able to tie it back with something like this. Um, nice alternative to the hair tie if I you know don't want to have a ponytail for whatever reason. Um, also nice as a face covering. Um, you know, if it's cold or people coughing, you know, in the, the current environment. Um, I don't live somewhere where you need to wear a face mask. We're pretty much over the virus, but, you know, you can never be too safe. And it's also just a nice accessory. I just like how these look. So, a buff. Um, what next? Let's do twitches. One of these. I will carry one of these. I've had both of these for several years. Um, and they're unbranded. This one has claims to have a brand. It's not. It's... It, these are cheap eBay Cree LED torches. Both um, had them for around three years at this point uh, and couldn't recommend them highly enough. They, these have been fantastic. They were only about $4 each. Um, this this one, larger, two, double, two triple A's. You can see it's quite worn at this point. And this one is one triple A, but also has this zoom function. It's out of battery, so you can... Probably barely see that, um, but yeah, just really simple, cheap torches. I wouldn't. I, I would care if I lost these now, just because of how long I've had them. But in terms of monetary loss, there's nothing there. Um, more than adequately bright enough for just everyday use, um, and just just really great little torches, uh, especially for the price. Um, I have a lighter here. I don't really carry a lighter though. It's just kind of background scenery. Um, What's next? Let's go with phone. I carry a Asus Zenfone um, for no other reason than it was pretty reasonably priced and does everything I want it to. Um, I don't use phones for videography or photography. I understand that modern phones are getting really good at that. Um, I just like the feel of a bigger camera and personally I can't I just don't feel like spending more than a thousand dollars on a phone. I would rather spend that on a lens that keeps its value and I can sell off in the future when I get bored of it. Um, these things, I believe they're about 200 to 250 Australian. I can't really remember. Um, pretty bulletproof. There is one scratch on it and that was from me dropping it down a cliff just in this case and it was just fine. Um, nothing particularly outstanding about it. It, it's just a pretty decent phone. 
Um, finally, uh, let's go to honorable mentions. The um, Ontario Rat 8 knife. Lovely little knife. I got this on eBay for $7. The seller put it up for auction. This is a weird time on eBay um, where a lot of branded knives were going up for auction really frequently and no one was bidding on them. Um, so I picked up this and two others. I don't know where they are. I think I gave one away and the other one's somewhere um, for really cheap because um, just no one was bidding on them. And it stopped. It was just this weird period of maybe two months where quite frequently knives like this were going up brand new and just no one was bidding on them. So I got this for $7 Australian new, which was an absolute steal. I love this knife. I would carry this knife, but I live in Australia. And... Shut up. That's right. It's weird. If I hold... I have a phone next to this radio. It makes noises. Um. Anyways, where was it? Yeah, I live in Australia. Um. And our knife laws are... They're not Britain's. Um. But I wouldn't carry this in town. And uh, to be fair, I don't need to carry this in town. Uh, you know, if I'm just at uni or whatever, I don't need this. I, I'm going to be honest here. This will suffice for, you know, anything I need this for, which is pretty much opening packages. I don't know. I've never come across a situation where I've been like, damn, if only I had a full-size knife in my day-to-day -day life anyways. When I am um, camping or in the workshop or doing any any activities that involve making or that are likely to involve making, then I'll carry something like this. But not, I wouldn't say it's part of my everyday carry. It's not like I bring this, you know, with me wherever I go every day type of thing. Because I just, I just don't need a knife this big you, most of the time. Or I am yet to come across a, uh, you know, a, a time when I need something like this. But um, yeah, a fantastic piece. I lost the thumb stud. It's just a bolt at the moment. Um, but yes, honourable mention because I really love this knife. Um, let me see. Anything else that I have laid out here? Checking notes. Uh, I do carry a pair of headphones. I, they're, they're, you know, cheapo $5 headphones, earphones. There's nothing special about them. I'm, I'm deaf, so audio quality isn't something that I particularly care about. Um, so yeah, just cheap headphones. Um, nothing particularly special there. Well, that was a 16 minute video. Um, I highly doubt anyone's still here, but if you are, thank you so much for watching. I, I hope this was enjoyable background noise to you or maybe introduced you to um, some gear that you did not know of otherwise. So uh, once again, thank you all for watching. I think I'm gonna do kind of a weekly video like this, like an unscripted rambling video um, just, just talking about stuff. I have a lot of stuff to talk about, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next actual good video.